Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rogue Bob Gaming. It is Eric here. I am back for my two-week little family vacation hiatus. Um, so if I haven't been on the channel recently, that's why. But I'm back, and I'm excited today. I'm doing something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. As you can see, I am in Pokemon TCG Online. And throughout the last, better part of the last three years, since Matt and I have really started upping our collecting and pack buying and online codes and all that kind of stuff um we've collected quite a few cards online matt plenty more so than i have but still hundreds and hundreds of code cards later and i haven't really gone in to see what i have so what i'm going to do today is go through my collection here and just build a deck um i might even go expanded to be totally honest because i want to take even you know have cards that have been out of rotation for a while qualify for this i'm just going to play expanded um i'm going to build a deck and record the whole thing um and probably play a few against the computer computer is typically pretty easy uh, on this just to get a feel for the deck and then maybe if i like it we'll play some some online versus and expanded just to give it a shot so without further ado let's go ahead so whenever I'm building a deck, and, and truly I have no idea what I'm going to do. This is, I woke up and felt like doing this. I don't have any cards in mind. Um, but what I'm going to start with is kind of how I always start when building any kind of deck is what's my win condition going to be? And by win condition, uh, Matt and I always mean what is what is the, the one card, the one combo, the two cards maybe that you want to get out probably as early as possible to help get you a victory. I always, always love playing dark or psychic decks so for the ease of this video and for the speed of this video ooh, a little ex card here could play that and explain it um i'm going to pick between psychic and dark or at least we're going to start there i'm not opposed to creating a water deck or a steel deck or grass it doesn't really matter that's not the point of this video is to build you know a psychic or, or dark type but those are the types that i like the most and so for the sake of not having this video be six hours long um we're gonna start there so we're gonna put a, a filter on here um and we're gonna go psychic and dark i wouldn't also be opposed to dragon problem is i don't think i have like a ton of dragon in here so we've got psychic and dark highlighted uh we're gonna keep the stage i don't really care um we are gonna click expanded here just so that it knows you know i want everything let me put this crobat v up here because i know i want that do what else we got here i'm looking for basics that have abilities that's kind of where i want to start i do also know that i'm going to toss in this eternatus and this eternatus v max as probably my win condition right now um but here we have galarian moltres um i like basics that have an ability um anything that you have to evolve can get tricky uh, it's not impossible because there are trainer cards that help you expedite that evolution process um and so i'm not opposed to it but i i prefer anything that I can just throw out there that has an ability. So when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your benching or turn, you may attach up to two dark energy. Okay, so it's essentially the Galarian Articuno, just, you know, Galarian Moltres. Uh, and then it's attack. This attack does 50 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So um, I like this for the sake of being able to attach energy to this in case I, I need to buy time to get this out. So I'm going to put a couple of those in the deck. It's not necessarily going to stay there for forever we already looked at that crimson all let's go back to this garbador v uh your opponent's active pokemon is now poisoned during your opponent's next turn that pokemon can't retreat and then sludge bomb 130 for three obviously that's not where we're going to stop we're going to get this garbor garbador v max this pokemon may have up to two pokemon tools attached to it if it loses its ability discard pokemon tools from it until only one remains okay and then your opponent's active pokemon is now poisoned during your opponent's next turn that pokemon can't retreat so for only two energy you can do 120 damage that's solid that's probably about as, as the most damage you can do with only two energy and it's poisoned um so you're you're doing damage even um outside of the 120 um high retreat cost but still let's roll with it for the sake of for the sake of time we're gonna roll with it i am gonna scroll really quickly as soon as i get through this through everything and i'm not gonna stop the spirit tomb right 70 until the end of your next turn the defending pokemon's weakness is now um dark put two damage counters on your opponent's pokemon in any way you like i kind of dig that um let's toss a couple of these 
um, because there's a world where I could put this out and it says until the end of your next turn so really I could put this out um, use that move if it gets KO'd the next turn fine it's only a single prize card or I can retreat it next turn for only one and I could drop you know any move and it's and it would be doubled uh, because of the weakness so I actually dig that and fill in gaps with Pokemon what I want to do now is take a look at energy again expanded great um, what I want to look at right now specifically is special energy um, if I go back to my Pokemon let's look at what I have so I have a decent amount this Eternatus V has a decent amount of colorless and the V Max um, which we haven't even read yet so let's see that real quick if all your Pokemon in play are dark type um, you can have up to eight Pokemon on your bench I remember this and you can't put non dark type Pokemon into play which is fine because as of right now we don't have any non dark type um, and then Dread End. This attack does 30 damage for each of your uh, dark Pokemon in play for only two energy, but it is a colorless and a dark. So obviously we want to have dark type in our deck, but there's all, all of these Pokemon have at least one colorless, you know, in order to do this uh, Ticking Terror move, which I talked about. I mean, imagine pairing Ticking Terror with, uh, I mean, this, this Dread End if I have six Pokemon on my bench. I don't even have all eight. If I just have six 30 damage um so that's 180 but with weakness that's a lot that's gonna one hit ko anything really so you know i need what i'm trying to say is i need colorless so double turbos double colorless it's just gonna help me fill in okay we're gonna do this powerful energy there are decks where they punish you for using special energy but i'm just gonna eat it um, I do like these draw energies too. We're going to add a couple of these just because um, <clears throat> to a couple of these double turbo energies. Or no, not double turbo. Sorry. We're going to get rid of those. Double colorless. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. Let me get maybe one more. We'll do three total. I do like this because you can attach it just, I mean, like any energy, it provides one colorless, but then you can... Um, draw a card just helps you thin your deck out a little bit only other thing i wanted to look at is what is this hiding dark energy as long as this card is attached it provides dark energy the pokemon has no oh ho, ho. <laughs> okay no retreat cost whoa i'm gonna get rid of one of these double colorless energies and i'm gonna go boom boom that's one two three four five six seven we're gonna add one more for now if i play a deck that punishes me for using special energy i'm gonna be in some trouble but I'm going to bang on that not happening, just, you know, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to go back to energy. We're going to put filters. We're going to get rid of the special. We're going to go basic. And then just to expedite it, we're going to go dark. And then let's just take, um, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get to 16 energy. So let's just do this. Um, add that. And then we'll do eight. 16 energy. Maybe we'll do one more. 17. Okay. So now we've got 12 Pokemon, 17 energy. We're definitely need, gonna need some more Pokemon and, and maybe another energy or two, but we're gonna fill in trainers that we know we want. This could be the hardest part. Um, I'm not gonna spend as much time as I would probably normally and expand it. There's just so many trainer cards, so many supporter cards. So we only have 11 trainers so far. I thought we would end up with more than that right now, but we don't and that's fine. And like I said, I could, I, I mean, I could go through these a lot harder and figure it out. Bead, which is a card I used to love. It's kind of a, you know, attach a basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. It's kind of an energy accelerator. I don't hate the idea of using it, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll toss a couple of beads in there. Bead gets hated on big time and I get it. I don't think it's ever really used in competitive decks, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to build a deck with what I got. Try to keep this. Oh, again, switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched. I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to play a deck where I can just... And I can draw three cards. Damn. Where I just want to be able to... Load up on energy. Attach a basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. So then Bead will allow me to attach two energy. Per turn, if I, you know, it's a su supporter use, obviously. 
Um, now that I'm looking, I think I want to add another basic. I want to go to 10 basic. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of... Oh, this powerful. Uh, what is this? Just how much? 20 more damage? Okay, I don't know if I dig that anymore. So we're going to go here and we're going to add another. Because I, I want to be able to... Energy retrieval. Maybe I'll up that up to two now because I have a little bit more basic energy. Great ball. So switch allows me to switch. Um, retreat cost doesn't come into play. Air balloon doesn't come into play. Um, bird keeper, I can switch and draw and draw three cards. That's dope. I've got a lot of ways to be able to switch these things out. So I think my, my goal now is just to be able to have flexibility with my active Pokemon slot. It's kind of a sick ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, it sure doesn't have to be in the active slot. You may look at the top six cards of your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find in there. Your opponent shuffles. That's kind of dope. We're going to do that just because I'm, I want to keep this move. Put all energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. At the end of your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon will be knocked out. Do I take a prize card? I'm going to play this because I want to know how that works. And then I think I'm just going to go... How many more? 52. We're just going to... I'm trying to speed this up a little bit, y'all. Um... I think definitely when you're done building a deck like this and you play it, then you make edits to it, take things out. You know, maybe you get rid of two energy because you drew too many energy. You add a trainer, you add a Pokemon. We're not going to do that here. I just really wanted to, you know, what do I have? And let's build something. And let's have, let's just have some fun. I still need six cards. Love this Impidimp. Don't know why I didn't see this before. What do I got? I'm going to play three of these. Only 60 HP, but for one, I can call for family. That's such a great move. I know there were decks built around that. For a basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench and then shuffle. This would be a great card to start with. One energy, it has a retreat cost of one, so slap one energy on it. And I could call for family twice in a, early in a game before this probably gets knocked out. Maybe not. It's only got 60 HP, but it doesn't really matter anyway. It's only six prize. Okay, three. Let's go back to trainers. Let's try and add a couple of things here. Boom, there we go. Oh, we're going to call it a YouTube dark deck. Oh. Coins, who cares? I always like this. Deck box. I want people to think we're doing... Actually, this is my go-to deck box sleeves. That's my go-to sleeves. We're going to save it. All right, now let's try it out. Um, we're going to test deck against the computer. So if I lose, I'm going to fire myself from this YouTube channel because usually this kind of stuff is pretty easy. Looks like he's playing a GX tag team deck. I will say... Um, Unlike other uh, other folks that you know, and watching the professionals do this, he's already got three cards on his bench. Okay, water deck, great. Um, I I typically don't look at what what is my opponent playing. I I know my deck, and I'm like, what do I have to do to get my win condition out? Now, sometimes you'll be playing somebody, and you you do need to pay attention to what they're doing, but you'll see like the Andrew Mahones and the the real professionals they'll kind of know what deck the other person is playing a few turns in. They might even know beforehand, depending, you know, when they submit decks and whatever. But, And then they might adjust their strategy. <clears throat> For me, as like a true, true amateur, I'm just like, I, I worry about my deck. I still look at what they're doing, and I'll play accordingly if they're a certain supporter card or whatever. But for the most part, I'm just like, what do I have to do to get my deck out? Okay, so I don't really... I don't, I think I just want to keep this here. What I'm going to do is Ultra Ball, and I'm going to, shit, you know what I just realized? I would have just rather Professor Researched and start over. Um, shit. Okay, we're going to do one of these and Bird Keeper. Call it good. That was a mistake. Already, turn one. Um, let's see what I got in here. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good. For a Pokemon, reveal it. We're gonna go here. Reveal it. We're gonna slap it on the bench. And then we're gonna attach an energy. Here. We're gonna end the turn. I should have just professors researched um, and start over. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. I mean, I, I did have decent cards in there to have to. So he's got a full bench already, really. Um, mm, 
we are going to go ahead here and then we're going to research discard and we're going to see what else i can get here okay already i like what we're doing we're going to slap him on the bench we're going to slap him on the bench we are going to ultra ball is it is, hold on let me make sure yeah any pokemon we're going for that eternity v max that's why i loaded up my bench we're going to discard two uh this switch and this research keep that energy and we're going to go get that Eternatus V Max that I saw. Boom, boom. I should be able to evolve it. Should be able to go boom. Yep, there's that ability. And then we're going to leave it that for leave it leave it there for now. Okay. So at this point I'm like I'm in a good spot. He hasn't even attacked. Evolve. Yeah, great. Don't care. None of his Pokémon even have any abilities. So this is what I mean. The computer's about not... The computer's really on a true test, man. Okay, I gotta get rid of one of these Ultra Balls on this deck because I've been pulling too many of these damn things. Um, Well, we'll do that. Oh, I can't even Ultra Ball. That was dumb. That was stupid. Should Ultra Ball first. Oh, well. I mean, the computer's are really not a... I mean, you see that? That's just, like, what? what is that? Um, but I just wanted to kind of play around with this a little bit and just kind of see what was going on here. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just continue to build out this bench. Uh, hopefully I get an energy retrieval soon, so that way... Um, yeah, I'm going to use this dark asset for sure. Boom, on the bench. And then I should get, boom, had no cards. Now I have six. That was a good move. That was a good move. Um, see, here we go. And now we're going to go here because it has no retreat cost. And we're going to retreat it in a second. We should be able to. And then watch. We're going to go Spirit Tomb. We're going to go Darkrai just to fill up the bench. We're going to go here. Look at the top seven cards. I do have an energy, I did have an energy retrieval, so that's good, because I have been putting energies in my bench. So we're gonna go here, boom, boom. And then we're gonna add this to the bench. We're gonna load up this bench. We're gonna go retreat. We're gonna swap it out for this. And then we're just gonna absolutely slice that for 270 damage. <clears throat> Take a prize card. That was good, that was a good move. And we got double colorless. Which I could totally put on that dark cry. That would be kind of stupid, though. Bubble. Great. Do whatever. Paralyze. That's kind of annoying. Um, we're just going to go ahead and evolve this. Um, do I have a spirit tomb? I do. Next turn, the defending Pokemon. Yeah. Um, I might... What is this? Mm, where would it make sense to slap a double turbo? Probably just right here. That's super annoying that I can't attack. But whatever. I think what I'm gonna do, guys. This is so stupid. This gets parts. This computer's just delaying the inevitable here. Um, I think I'm going to play after this I'll play one more game against a computer and then I'm going to let y'all comment in the comment section you know how good we think this deck is uh, and then I'll do a separate video where I battle actual human beings and we'll see I'm not going to make any edits to it um, I don't think anyways we're just going to 270 damage that's solid I will say though, 270. Okay, great. Retreat cost, sweet. So I might attach this to that Eternatus V Max. Um, that has no retreat cost. Draw energy. So we're definitely going to play this. What do I got going on here? I've got double. Mm. What about this? 
let's just get, let's just, I, I, I mean, at this point, just trying to load up energy somewhere. Um, I mean, I mean, obviously at this point, you guys know this, I mean, I, there's no way I lose. Really no way. So I'm gonna play one more game against this. Oh, great energy retrieval. We're gonna play one more game against just like a CPU. This kind of easy like this, just to let me kind of go through and figure out, give me one more opportunity to kind of lay stuff out. I think this game went pretty well. I had one really good turn um, that kind of got me to where I am. Um, and then we'll we'll go up. I, I can't really do much here just with my bench. So we're just gonna energy retrieval. We're gonna get these. I did have to ultra ball a lot and we are, did discard some, some energy. So it's good that energy retrieval came in handy. Um, doesn't make sense there. I'm just trying to figure out where to put. We'll go with this Garbodor. He needs a dark energy. Just gonna go here, bang, bang. Um, and then we are going to, um, battle some humans in the next video. We'll do three or four and see how well it goes and expand it. And that can get hairy. There's a lot to have to account for. Okay. One thing I want to do, this is an underrated move here. If it can pull it off, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to try, I'm going to attach an energy here. Um, And that's literally all I can do. So I'm just going to KO here. Take out this Kyogre. Um, but this Spirit 2 move, to, to pull it off would be sick. To start a game with this. Just take that prize card. To start a game with this. Use this move until the end of the next turn. Let's try and... I mean, this is a complete waste of time. But let's just try and see. Um, we're going to... Okay. We're going to go here. This is, like, totally unnecessary. But we're going to... Swap here. We're going to swap it for this spirit tomb. We're going to use Taking Terror. And then I'm obviously going to retreat it next turn. I mean, just for the sake of... This is a draw. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just to draw. Thin out the deck more. Um, you know, we can Pokemon Center Lady. This is you know, uh, completely unnecessary, but I'm just trying to keep playing. We're going to retreat this. We're going to go here. And I just want to see... Oh, shit. doesn't matter. There. Done. I just want to see... Now we're going to go here, and it should do 540 damage. Jesus. That's going to be sick if I could pull that off. If I could start a game with a Spirit Tomb, or at least early in the game, man, is it worth pulling out a Spirit Tomb to... Probably not. 540 damage, though? Jesus. I think we have a thumbnail for this video. 540 damage. You have to have a full bench of darks. Um... Wow, let's let's see if we can do that here. I don't. It's not that consistent, and you know, and it only happens once. So you kind of got to use it strategically, unless you can just keep swapping out spirit tomb and keep using that move. But it just kind of gets away. So I don't have a spirit tomb here. No basic. What? Oh, opponent. Duh. I was like, what are you talking about? Um, we're gonna start with impidimp. We'll have to attach an energy to it. But we're going to load up the bench here. Because, again, I might keep it at that. Just because this grammar doesn't serve a purpose. So I might... Well, actually, no. We're going to put it out. Because if I get to a turn, it's just VMAX. Then my bench is going to expand anyways. Um, <clears throat> 540 damage. Obviously, that takes out everything. Literally everything. I will draw a card. Thank you. Great. Um, we're going to go here. And I'm going to call for family. Oh, I have a switch, though. So, I mean, that was... Oh. I got to use that move. Whatever. We'll just stop. Good thing I'm playing CPUs. Because I got to figure this out. I got to figure this deck out. So, we're playing a steel deck. Great. What are my weaknesses, anyway? I don't even really... 
fighting, probably fighting across the board. Weakness, fighting. Grass, randomly, okay. Fighting. So hopefully I don't have to play any fighting decks, which honestly I feel good about, because I don't think a lot of actual human beings play fighting decks a lot. You never know, especially in Expanded. In Expanded, I mean, hey, he's got a call for family too. What did he call upon here? Okay, so I can now. Um, double colorless. That's obviously going to go here. Uh, then I think what I'm going to do is research. And I have an impotent party out. I don't really want to energy load Moltres. Um... We'll call for family. We're gonna go grab a basic. What was this? A, yeah, okay, it's not. Yeah, duh. Um, we'll go Garbodor. Like to have options on the bench. Well, that was so stupid. Why in this game do they make computers dumb? Has no retreat cost. So we're gonna slap this on Eternatus. I really, what? oh, yeah, okay, that was weird. Um, What do I have here? I have three total. You may attach a dark energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Um, so we'll go ahead and, just to, you know, accelerate this. So we'll do 30 damage and then will attach an energy to the gar to garbador just kind of thin out the hand keep my options open i'm not somebody that likes to have 12 cards in my hand so okay well now i mean i keep pulling these special energies um now i mean i'm gonna go double colorless here right I really need to get my VMAX out. That's the problem. I can't. I can't really do anything. Oh. But this. So I can at least get a prize card. Duh. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Energy. Great. I mean, at this point, 120 damage is enough to take out literally everything that he has. So. Obviously, it's going to be much harder. Um, maybe I should have kept this in my hand just so that I could, you know, like right now it'd be nice to play this and get six cards just to try and I, I would almost guarantee pull something that would be useful, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> to thin out the deck and just maybe an ultra ball so that I can discard a couple of these cards I don't need, like research, um, this Moltres or the other Eternatus V and then get my Eternatus V max out, expand that bench. Okay, we did get a great ball, so there's a chance we could. What I'm going to do is. I'll just go ahead and do this. As This is clearly my backup. We're going to great ball. And we're going to great ball nothing. I mean, we'll take the spirit tomb, sure. Now we have the opportunity, once my bench gets expanded, to do that 540 move. Not that that's going to be all that important. Almost forgot to attack. Oh, I can't one hit KO everything. It's okay. There's no cards in his hand. Let's load up this Crobat or something. I don't even really know. We'll just power. That way I can attach an energy to Crobat again. I mean, I think this deck plays all right for really, you know, not trying significantly hard over here. God, I really need to get these impidimps. I need an Ultra Ball. I need to discard. No. I did get a draw energy, though, so that could be helpful. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Doesn't really matter. No. Oh. Sure. We're kind of stuck in like a little bit of a, like, I mean, I'm playing a really easy opponent, so it doesn't matter, but 
But against like an actual human with a good deck, I'm just not. This deck, I'm, I'm stuck right now because I can't get to my Eternatus V Max. Um, so there's a good chance I would have already been KO'd by now. This game's been what eight or nine turns, maybe even more than that. So yeah, my hand is just bad. I really need to get to my V Max. An Ultra Ball is great because I can discard my bench expands. I can dump a ton of stuff on my bench. You know, but whatever. This video is already. All right, everybody, video cut out on me, but you saw me play um, against one computer. Uh, I think the video cut out second or halfway through my second computer. Um, but you, you saw the deck that I built. So the next video that is going to come out um, is going to be me taking on actual humans in Expanded, which can get tricky because Expanded obviously goes way back. So that'll be fun. Maybe I'll get smoked or maybe I won't. We're going to see. But hopefully you got to see how this deck plays and the deck list profile um, you know, strategy is to be able to, uh, kind of not really care or worry about who's in my active slot, what Pokemon, because I can retreat with either air balloon or a switch or that hiding dark energy. Um, you know, so that, that's kind of the strategy here. Um, the couple times I played, I was really utilizing the Eternatus V max expanded bench option. And then if you couple it with spirit tomb, you can do up to 540 damage only once. Well, Technically, you could do it more than once, but it's probably only going to happen once. But 540 damage is the most amount of damage I can do in this deck, which is absurd. That's enough to KO a lot of things twice. <laughs> um, but next time you see me, I'm going to be battling some actual humans with this deck. I'm not going to make any changes or edits because I just wanted to do one deck build with no edits, see how good I could do. Um, so if you don't mind, if you want to go in the comment section below and just kind of see, um, you know, tell me what you think about this deck, how well I did given the last, you know, 30, 40 minutes of build and testing. Um, and then kind of, uh, I think I'm going to play five or seven games and we'll see, we're going to do five. We're going to do best of five. I'm going to play five games against actual humans in verses. And I want you all to tell me how you think I'm going to do. Um, so if you want to comment below what you think my record is going to be after five games, am I going to go two and three, oh, and five, three and two, five and oh, who knows? Uh, comment that below. Love to hear your thoughts. Next time you see me, um, it will be against humans. So uh, remember to like, subscribe, tell your grandmother about us. Analytics show the grandmothers subscribe twice as much as anybody else. So we're really trying to hit up that community. Um, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks. Peace.